Bitches, money, cars only take you but so far. I can guarantee you that shit don't make up a superstar. Time, place, all good. While they're not just like you should, let your fingers. All right, boys. I'm all packed up for the Big Apple, aka Florida. I've got to wake up early tomorrow, and um, it's currently um, around uh, 10 o'clock. I don't know how to read these watches, but it's around 10 o'clock or something like that. No, it's 4:17. Um, so it's 4:17, but got to go to sleep early tonight, get that good old rest, and uh, head to Florida. And just like that, we're in Florida. We out here in uh, 30A Seagrove, Seagrove Beach in Florida. Um, it's quite hot outside. Um, a lot of different atmosphere uh, from what I'm used to. But I'm on, I'm on the Big Ripper. Uh, chilling, chilling out, Matt and relaxing, Max and all cool. But anyways guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing things you need to learn right after you master the wheelie. So when I when I mean master the wheelie, I don't mean you can wheelie for 10 seconds, more of you can wheelie for 30 seconds. So that's sort of the vibes coming from this video today. Um, so this video is also for like beginners. <laughs> don't mind me, just uh, just kind of uh, going my own, my own way around this gate. But anyways. This video is uh, targeted towards beginners that just learned how to wheelie. So, you know, you can you can lift it up and you know keep balance point, use that rear brake. Uh, these are five things you need to learn right after you get this down. So number one is coaster wheelies. Now this is simply just wheeling while coasting, which means you aren't pedaling. So with this, you kind of want to lean back a little bit behind your balance point and just modulate that brake. So I'll demonstrate it real quick. Okay, so you're like normally wheeling and then coast. All right, you're normally wheeling and then coast. This is very important if you wanna slow down while wheeling, you know, because you're not gonna slow down by pedaling faster, you're gonna slow down by stop, by stop pedaling and use that brake, but still be able to keep it up. So very simple, very elementary stuff. Um, so you kinda wanna go behind your balance point a little bit Nothing, nothing too crazy. You don't want a 12 o'clock just like that, but just kind of sit sort of behind your balance point. It's not much at all to where you can stop pedaling and just kind of use that brake. That's a good coaster right there. Just be able to keep it going. And uh, yeah, you should be good. So thing number two that you want to learn right after you mastered the wheelie are one hand wheelies. Now these are very hard uh, to learn and practice, but I have a few uh, tips for you guys trying to learn one hands. So first, let me demonstrate in one hand. So you know you're wheeling, and then boom, one hand. So it's very, like I said, elementary level things, but it's very important to learn that because whether you're trying to call your girl or give someone a high five mid wheelie, it is just a good skill to, to know and learn and be able to do it on command. So some tips on trying to learn how to one hand. Um, you wanna, you, first things first, I would recommend um, putting your seat kind of down and tilting it forward. That'll make it to where when you're wheeling, the seat will kind of feel even and it'll kind of let you feel more comfortable with dropping a hand. If you guys are confused on how to set up your bike for wheelies, I made a video about that link in description, first link down below, be, for, be sure to check that out. But um, so when learning one hands, you want to pop it up in a wheelie, you know, obviously. And then when you're first starting to learn, you just want to lift it up and put it back on. That's all you want to do. Just keep, keep doing that. And as you keep doing that, you'll be able to do, do like that. And as you keep on practicing that, uh, you'll kind of get to the point where you can leave it off for a little bit longer, put it back on. And then soon enough, you'll just be able to pick it up and drop it. Something else that I uh, heard helps, um, let me tilt the camera down. Let me tilt the camera down. Is a pinching the frame with your knees so that way you're still holding on to something. So you wanna be wheeling, coast, pinch the frame with your knees, and then one hand. That'll make you feel a little bit more secure because when you're dropping your hand, 
the only thing that's really pulling on the bike is your right hand or left hand if you're one of those people that have left hand brakes um but whatever brake whatever hand you use to brake that'll be your only way to hold on to the bike so it can be kind of scary so that knee uh pinching the the frame trick can help you guys out if you need it to i'll show you guys again pinch frame i don't really like doing it that way there's just too much going on i think it's better to just drop it and keep pedaling so number three third thing to learn after mastering your wheelie are turning and swerving now i'm going to put these two in the same category because they're basically the same thing a swerve is just basically like a more steezy turn just think about it like that so to turn while you're wheeling um you want to obviously start off in a wheelie and let's say i want to go left right here around this corner so what i'm going to want to do is point my left knee in that direction point my bars in that direction and look so left knee in that direction bars and then look that'll immediately just bring the bike over and it'll make it super simple for you guys to turn so let's say i want to turn right right here so right knee point it over point the bars and turn your head it's super simple all right now the same can't be said about a swerve swerving is a little bit hard to learn um so i kind of practice that a lot more but to swerve you kind of point the bars in one way and kind of bring the bike over it's super hard and confusing to try to teach you guys it's just better for me to show you guys so same thing with turning but you just kind of do it some more like crazier so watch this curb right 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 boom all right so it's very simple like i said i'm turning right now i'm turning the bars pointing my knee turning my head simple 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 now swerving i turn the bars and i kind of for swerving i turn the bars and i point my knees in the opposite way it's very counterintuitive but that's just what i do i know some people do it different ways but i'd say practice learning first and then swerve things that are flat on the ground so like so let's just say this thing this little vent practice swerving that i can't even wheelie that'll just make sure you don't hit anything which brings me to another point do not swerve cars whether it be suicide swerving or just swerving do not swerve cars because that is dangerous it can get you killed it can get you fined so it's just better off to stay away from cars when you're learning how to swerve let let one-way cory and all of them do it and then you watch all right we got a deal all right so number four number four will be getting your bike up without pedaling aka learning how to manual now this is a great skill that just have in general but it'll also make you look extra steezy if you want to pull it up for wheelies so this is what a manual looks like now, let me tilt the camera down so you guys can kind of see what's going on so you're going to pedal a little bit and then no pedaling like that but to teach you guys how to do it um let me get off for a second let me find find a nice uh quiet road go back to where i was at this uh little parking lot that's gated that i just go around the gate and we're all gucci to get your bike up by not pedaling is a lot more trickier than just pulling it up while pedaling because you don't have that power in the rear wheel to get it up so basically how i manual is before i pull the bike up to get it back i kind of sit down and then bring it back so it's not just pulling up and bringing all your weight back it's kind of sitting down and then pulling up and then getting all your weight back so hopefully that kind of helps explain it here i'll set the camera down and do it multiple times so you guys can see It also might help you guys to uh, stand up while wheeling to kind of get used to the different balance point feeling. Uh, when you're wheeling while sitting down versus standing up, your balance point feels like two totally different things. So it might help you to, you know, lift it up in a wheelie and then stand up and get a feel for that balance point. You're just wheeling, stand up and get a feel for that balance point. Fifth and final thing to learn after you master the wheelie is wheeling with no brake. Now that might seem weird because you know you kind of need the brake to wheelie am i right no i'm not right um you can wheelie without touching the brake at all um it is very challenging but 
very much so possible. So basically to a wheelie without brakes, um, you really want to get comfortable while wheeling. I mean, this is going to be really hard to learn if you guys just learned how to wheelie. So maybe work on numbers one, two, three, and four before this one. Um, but basically you can modulate your body positioning and how hard you're pedaling uh, to keep the wheel up without having to press the brake at all. Now, with that being said, if you're about to loop and you can't do anything about it, you're going to have to press that brake. So I'll show you guys some examples right now. Um, so you want to put it up in a wheelie. All right. So you just want to get comfortable, get used to that balance point and look at my finger. And just like that, you can wheelie without brakes. Now, I think uh, the official term for this is called power wheelies because your wheelie is dependent upon your pedal power and uh, not your brake modulization. It's also a good thing to note that you don't want to be at your balance point for this. You kind of want to be a little bit um, before your balance point. So not really at balance point yet, but if you feel like you're going to loop and go back, lean forward so all your weight kind of goes forward so hopefully it drops the wheel without you guys having to press the brake but if last worst case scenario you're gonna lube just press that brake it's not that scary um so me personally when i do uh no brake wheelies i leave my finger a bit above the brake lever so that way if i ever need it you know emergency just go bit down and press it down so um don't don't put your finger like this away from the brake because if you feel like you're about to fall it's gonna take it's gonna take a lot of uh, practice to get around and quickly press that brake. So that was five things to practice after you master your wheelie. If you guys like this sort of video, be sure to like and subscribe, and check out my other videos. Now, I'm just gonna ride around, have a good time while I'm on vacation. Um, so I'll throw in some clips afterwards. And, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay cold when we cool it, cool it. And being broke starts to get a little old. My money had to get some fine tuning. Tonight might be the night I make it. So let's live it up and don't regret it at all. All these faces, different places. <laughs> Why do people get so mad? Honey's by the pool and umbrellas and mimosas. Chilling at the beach house, lounging on the sofa. Ride right away the chauffeur, on my way to blow up. Stoner, roll up. Champagne sipping, five star chefs stay cooking in the kitchen. But making only the good shit. See the way I'm living, they like, oh my goodness. I tell them I'm fine. Hey, I ain't got a damn thing on my mind. Hey, and they all we got is time. Hey, let's just watch the clouds go by. Yes, sir. What a weird place to put a stop sign. What a very, it could have been in the corner right there. It's, what is this? Why have I never like seen stuff like this before? Man, I'm 10 years old and I've never seen shit like that. That is fucking crazy.